And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Swain. We're going to be playing a Freljord Noxus deck with these two champions. It's going to be kind of like a Braum Vladimir deck if you're used to seeing those. But we're going a little bigger. We're going with Swain because our deck is going to be dealing a good amount of non-combat damage. And you want to have 12 non-combat damage to level up your Swain. We're going to have cards like Blighter Ravine, which is going to do lots of non-combat damage. Because it's going to go to every unit plus two to each nexus so that will like single-handedly level up swain almost um we'll also have ice shards in here ember maiden so some different things that can do damage to lots of stuff all right so then we'll also have uh, ravenous flock of course um but we're going to be a scar grounds deck so whenever we're doing um the small amount of damage to everything hopefully our ally should survive it and then gain tough and of course the ally surviving damage is good for leveling up vladimir and then getting the vladimir attack in there um yeah, so like this, you know, like this looks like a, a pretty pretty cool little list. So we're going to have like these things early with the Blood Letter, Disciple, Demolitionist <clears throat> early. Mid game we'll have like Scar Grounds plus like good AoE damage with Ice Shard and Blighter Ravine and then all these things to finish the game out. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to play some Vladimir Swain on over and ranked. Here we go. All right, looks like we're playing against an Anivia deck. That's a deck that also likes doing small amounts of damage. So we really want to find the Scar Grounds. This is going to be an important Scar Grounds matchup. I'm just going to mulligan it all. We could keep the one drop, but I want to find Scar Grounds. It's the most important card for us. So no Scar Grounds here. Okay, attack for one. We're real aggressive. All right, we'll just pass the turn. And draw the Scar Grounds. Nope. No, this is... This is the uh, board music for this Snowy Glade board. I don't think playing Ember Maiden after Bloodletter really helps us that much. Because the Ember Maiden takes one, and then it just kind of dies. I guess I could use Troll Chant to help it out. Where is Scar Grounds? These old eyes still see far and clear. Fear the power of the sea. Safeguard our home. So I'm not going to play anything else into Ruination. Okay, Avalanche. Dropping all three Ember Maidens is not something you normally want to do in one turn. Unless he has Scar Grounds. We're doing a better job leveling up Vladimir. Okay, they're down to seven. Alright, more Avalanche. So we're gonna go, I'm going to go ahead and play an Ember Maiden now to do you know one Nexus damage to them, basically. And then I am planning on going the Demolitionist for my other card. I wouldn't mind if they Vile Feast the Ember Maiden. If they don't break, 
Because next turn's turn 8, so we're going to be playing Leviathan. So I want to be able to play this stuff right now. Because if I'm playing Leviathan next turn and the turn after, then I'm probably not playing these for a while. For the glory of Noxus. Where'd the opponent go, puppy? You going to go find him? Go find a pup? Scorched Earth, does this do a damage Nexus? Your Nexus has been damaged. Destination in sight. All right. Destination in sight. All right, Draven Ezreal. And Scar Grounds. So that's gone, this is gone, this is gone. And we'll just mulligan swing also. Gotta start attacking for one. Gotta get that damage in there. Okay, and here is the Scar Grounds. No. Witness perfection, meat bags. We need to work on that puppy. Our calling cards. So I'm basically just doing this to be able to. Uh, right now, to be able to, you know, use mana, right? Mana that would be wasted. Some treasures. Alright, so some treasures will stay alive. You could see me using Troll Chant here. Because they can open attack. Um, but then we won't have Troll Chant for these things. That's probably okay to Troll Chant this, is it? We just keep a 1-1 one, one alive. Oh wait, we can't save it, never mind. Never mind, this is round start. That bonus will go away. It's not round end, it's round start. Never mind, can't save. Can't save, won't save. All right, but did, that card did level up Swain by itself. One card I really didn't want them to play. Maybe I keep this because this is a Swain's Ravenous Flock. Just let these trade and have a new Swain. thing is like I can't take the four damage. By my hand, the Noxus rise. The 
party has arrived. This will put them down to four, which means Leviathan doesn't quite kill them. Now we're cooking. Sometimes it just. Sometimes they just have it all. I guess they have Triple Draven. They get to level up their Draven now. If only our Scorched Earth was a Whirling Death. That would have been great. I probably can't. But I will. Fear the power do not see. So we'll see if they have if they have you know the mystic shots and get excited and kill me. Oh well. They have guillotine. They don't know what they're up against. Don't blink, or you miss me. All right, so that's three damage, and then spinning X, spinning X is four, five. All right, no scar grounds again. Because <laughs> stuff like that happens, and you just get complete, you know, get completely destroyed by playing Might. So I don't like playing Might. They had a leveled up Ezreal in play, which made things deal more damage. All right, so we have a Scar Grounds, but again, Scorcher doesn't help kill anything. Play this first. Perfect Draven, though. You know, get some spinning axes that they can discard it to draw some more cards. Let's do that. Fire knows its own. Like that. Alright, so this isn't working out too well. Watch and learn. I think our deck needs removal spells. Like actual removal spells. I'd never keep my guests racing. Like some things that can deal damage. Or even our own um, Let's 
like our <clears throat> like that that three two that stuns. I feel like that like our own Arachnoid Sentry. I feel like that's a card that we could be playing Arachnoid Sentry. Let the flames take you. So I would while I'd like to play Scar Mother, if I play Scar Mother, we don't have any kind of protection. Good, now we have Ravenous Flock. Got access, need victims. Embers and smoke. And going down to seven. Which is not very much. Kind of looks like their deck does the whole interaction thing a little bit better than us. That's what it looks like. A conquest for empire. But you know, like Dra Draven getting the two spinning axes and then Rummage, you know, you get a lot of, uh, you get a lot of cards with them. So yes, I could I could have used Troll Chan and saved Vladimir right there. But I feel like I feel like I have to use the Troll Chan here to keep the Ezreal from hitting me because like if I if I save it there, then they get this Mystic Shot, then I definitely lose. Most likely, we have already lost anyway. But I definitely can't beat that Mystic Shot. Then again, I guess, I guess the Mystic Shot is just kind of the same as this three damage. So, yep. by my hand, with Noxus rise. And that's lethal. Draven Ezreal just going underneath us. This Our cards are kind of too expensive. Okay, Shivana, Rillian Soul does not put as much pressure on us. So we'll have some more time. We're definitely going to need to set up Swain plus Leviathan. We sometimes just have a bunch of like three twos that Blighter Ravine could be good against. No, this is a viewer submitted donation deck. I'm just I'm leaving it as is. I'm, I don't want. I'm not gonna. I don't want to change it. And, you know, we just we've we've lost two games. But it's just been two games also. Mason, reporting for duty. 
Make the Empire proud. Destruction feeds my fire. Alright, get that damage in. That damage can definitely be important. We are a Noxus deck after all. Shining gifts from the sky. I hope they don't have a fight spell. Lead us to victory, Grand General. Routes closed. Because the the I sharp bumps up the demolitionist to three power thanks to the scar grounds and then you know it does one damage to this unfortunate put it down to three health now also with my uh card being tough i only take four like it only takes four because it's tough so they only heal four so that's kind of cool And if they have single combat, I mean, if they have single combat, I'm like, if they have the seven man dragon and single combat, that's just gonna be rough. For the Empire. The few. Hopefully not. That's the perfect. No, because open attack only d just dealt eight damage to them. The what I just did right there, like if they didn't, they had to have seven mana dragon and single combat. If they didn't, um, they were gonna take uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They're gonna take twelve damage. So it's, yeah. So you know, dealt a whole bunch more damage. But yeah, they just had they had the perfects. Conquest for empire. To the stars. Artillery barrage. I do love an audience. It's no secret what my, what my play is going to be. Sometimes our opponents just have it all, and that's just kind of what's been happening in these last three games. Yeah, I really until created the nine mana obliterate too. All right, Zoe by Victor, or Victor by Zoe. All right, Scar Grounds is an important one for us to have. Not as important against Hush decks though. Then we have the ice, ice shard plus scorched earth, which I wanted to wait on this to have this deal damage to something else, but can't let Zoe just go crazy. V I shard. So they, of course, can get to heal, like with these gems, they get to heal the damage that the Ember Maiden can deal. What's 
Alright, Swain's leveled up. I am the herald of the glorious evolution. Oh my gosh, I'm a hero too! What's your favorite thing you ever heralded? Alright, they did not heal the Zoe. So we shall try to kill that. Cool. Regeneration. Master your deeds. These things are, you know, like these portals are created cards for Victor. Spell shield. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Without spell shield, I was gonna be able to kill Victor with Scorched Earth. It was just some random keyword, you know, like a fearsome or an elusive or overwhelm or whatever. Okay. That will work also. If they don't block, it kills their trickster. They you know they take six damage. It kills their trickster, but their Victor has regeneration, so it'd stay alive. It looks like they're going to be going for the elusives instead. No, no, no. So I need this to stun the subversible. So we don't take that five. Oh, right. We stun two things because... I forgot about that, because we have the Crimson Disciple that it survives damage, so it, it de whenever it survives damage, it deals damage to the enemy Nexus. So, not only did the Ice Shard deal damage to the Nexus, but the Disciple did also. So we get double stun. Please no Equinox! Please no Equinox! Double stun! I feel like if they had Equinox, they would've just grabbed that immediately. All right, cool. No equinox. Artillery barrage. Lead or not. Lead them not. And that's likely likely game. Yes, it is. Okay. Finish it out with a good win there. Two and three. Not bad. We we can handle two and three. All right, so definitely a. A fun deck to play, interesting one, and you can see like that last game is really what our deck's trying to do, how we have the area of effect damage with the Scar Grounds, and how that's like hurting our opponent and helping us, and then we have like our Scorched Earth and Ravenous Flocks and stuff like that. But we're really relying on like the three Scar Grounds, and then having like the three Ice Shards, right? Like we're really relying on those cards. Thankfully, like that game, we drew all three Ice Shards, right? Like we drew every single one. Uh, but that's really important. And it felt like we could have even a couple of more cards like that that could do damage to our opponent's stuff. That's what it really felt like. And so maybe that's like Death's Hand. Um, yeah, like maybe that's Death's Hand. Because we had, like, without having, like, that Ice Shard, like, these, these Scorched Earths and these Ravenous Flocks can really just sit in your hand and do nothing. That was a, a big problem that we saw. And so I think Death's Hand's probably the best 
uh, card for that. Even like, I know Whirling Death would have been amazing at one point. Um, but I don't love Might. Might can, you know, Might is a tricky one with Swain, right? Like, it, it can be awesome with the Swain, but um, it's not easy to to have work out. Um, it, as we saw there, like, that, the one game against the Draven deck, whenever I tried to Might Swain, and it was going to be a good play, but they just were able to kill my Draven. Or, sorry, they were able to kill my Swain uh, with their Draven. So, yeah, Scarmother, like, maybe, like, Scarmother Verena can do tons and tons of damage. But this deck doesn't seem like it's lacking too much in the top end with having the Leviathans and everything already. Um, so maybe maybe that's like a spot where you could get like more removal in instead of Scar Mother Verena. Or maybe even just instead of Demolitionist. You know, like Demolitionist is, is really cool with Crimson Disciple, but that's kind of about it. And so maybe just playing more um, area of effect removal instead of Crimson Disciple. Um, another card that's not doesn't seem completely necessary is blood letter also right like it's like these things are cards that aren't like the most necessary uh demolitionist does help turn on your vladimir though the, the, the whole surviving damage thing so i don't know it's it's tricky there's a lot of cards that you can definitely play in this kind of deck but there's not a whole lot of like perfect cards right if that makes sense um you know like when you have cards like mystic shot that's a card that you're like okay definitely playing three because this card's busted you know troll chant that kind of thing but there's a lot of, like, these other cards that are, like, situationally, okay, you know, good, but not necessarily always good. You know, and talking about, like, your Bloodletter, your Demolitionist, Might, Scorched Earth, um, Scar Mother Verena. So all of those cards, I could see, I could see all of those being different cards. I could see, you know, any of them staying. Uh, and so it's, it's kind of hard to figure out what other card, you know, because, like, Avalanche is a good one. Babbling Bjerg is a good one, you know, getting you the card advantage, finding like Vladimir Leviathan for you, while also putting a body down there. Um, so like those are those are good cards. Um, but we talked about Whirling Death, uh, Death's Hand. Those are definitely pretty nice. Um, even playing something like Starlet Seer in this kind of deck, like where you, like if you're playing a good amount of spells, you can go that route also if you want to play more spells than Starlet Seer. Lots of things, Ta you know, Kindly Tavern Keeper, if you're playing against aggro, and then also to, like, heal things that get damaged. So there's all sorts of cards that you can play, and so figuring out exactly what the best cards are is is difficult. And that's what makes these decks uh, pretty difficult. But um, if you can figure it out, if you can figure out, like, the exact 40 cards to play, uh, you can have a really good deck. And it's a fun one to play, too. All right, so that's it here for Vladimir Swain. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube... Let me know what are some cards that we don't have in this deck that you really like and why. I would love to hear it, you know, because like I said, like there's some different options, but I'm not exactly sure. And so, um, you know, I'd like to hear if, if y'all play this, have been playing this deck or a very similar deck. Um, what are some other cards that can maybe go in here uh, that you would recommend putting in or taking out? Uh, yeah, uh, leave those comments. I'd be interested in that. All right, but that's all I got here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching some Vladimir Swain, and I'll see you for the next video.